second one is repeating. Repeating is a principle that is very appealing in art. The fact that there's some repetition breeds familiarity. And in life, when we're familiar with something, we're much more comfortable yeah. with it. So it kind of just suits the person who's viewing it and just makes them feel kind of warm and cozy. That's a little bit of a stretch, but you get, you get my point. With repeating, you could think about it in a number of different ways. So on my sample here, I've repeated the egg. So I've repeated a literal um, object, but I've also repeated um, these different backgrounds. This is from a photograph I took of a, of a wall in New York City. And um, I've, just re I've repeated it by the fact that I'm using the same color, but I also repeated it by kind of using these three vertical um, cuts. So you can repeat in many different ways. It doesn't have to be identical. It could okay. be very literal or it could be more conceptual. So we're gonna get another piece of paper. We're gonna grab and go and we're gonna figure out a way to repeat. Okay, I'm gonna use that. That and that. Oh, yeah. See, I thought some of the eyeballs. Eyes are good. So, I have these images uh, that I photographed uh, a number of years ago when I was in Mexico. And in Mexico, there was these amazing just doors and windows everywhere. I love the patina. And um, I think it's interesting when you use the symbolism of door or window as well mm -hmm. in a collage. So, I am going to uh, use that as my rep uh, repeating pattern. Um, the other thing I'm doing here is um, choosing ones that are um, rectangle in nature. So not only am I repeating the image, uh, the content of the image, but I'm also repeating the shape of the piece of paper that I'm collaging. And then also, if you notice, the colors repeat. So in both of these, there's yellow, there's some reds, there's actually some greens. And because they're taken from uh, decaying walls in Mexico, they're also somewhat um, distressed looking, both of them. Uh, one of the things to note is that odd numbers are particularly um, interesting in art. There's something about the number three especially that is very, very appealing to the eye. When you have two images of something, it's almost like a tennis match. You're going back and forth, and your eye doesn't rest. When you have three, you can go from one to another to another. So I always think it's when, it's, when I'm repeating, I always think about the idea of this odd number. Um, the other thing you can see I did here is I chose to cut one up and go off the page. To me, that's a little bit more interesting, and it kind of suggests that maybe there's even more doors or windows um, to be found. All right, you got your eyes, okay. Yeah. One of the really interesting things, I like the way you're doing this. Um, one of the things about uh, collage is that, as I said earlier, you're probably doing the principles already without realizing, so you've also done overlapping here. Mm -hmm. So yeah. that just happens naturally. A lot of these things we do without even realizing. And then I love the fact that your background, the shape is almost like the shape of an eye as well. Oh, now see, I didn't even okay. catch on to that. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> that happens all the time. You don't think you know what you're doing, but you actually mm -hmm. do, because that was the cre kind of your creative mindset okay. working without you thinking. And That's see, when was, it's best. I was wondering if, I like how you took it off the page. Okay. Mine is, isn't even close to going off the page and it's dead center. Well, that's fine f for this okay. because this is just uh, uh, outlining the principle of repetition and you have that. Okay. And that's all we care about. So I'm calling this repeating. All my principles relate to each other because they all end in ing. All right, we're ready to go to okay. the third one? Yeah.